Welcome back to Local 3 News. Joining us via video chat is Alex Palswis with Taste the Local Difference, and today she'll show us how to make a tasty ragu. Take it away, Alex. Hey everyone, it's Alex Pelswitz and we're back in my kitchen in my apartment. Um, today I'm really excited to show you a really quick uh, kind of a ragu recipe. So it's a meat sauce. Um, this is a recipe that I featured in one of my cooking with kids segments that I did with Marisa in the past. And if you're interested in seeing the longer explanation with more detail, you can visit the Taste the Local Difference YouTube channel and check that out. But let's get started here. Let me show you, mostly gonna be showing you what's in it. It is really simple to put together. So in the pan here, I've already got, um, I've sweat some onions first and you can use butter or oil, but I use some pork fat from Case Country Farm. Um, so I sweat the onions for about five minutes. Then I added a half pound of local ground pork from Seeds and Spores. And that just kind of got added and it's cooked down. And then at this point, it's really just about adding the rest of the ingredients and letting it simmer. Here I've got a little jalapeno, um, some shredded beet, and some garlic. So we're gonna add that in. Give that a stir. Make sure it's nice and evenly distributed. We've also got some, I've got some andouille sausage from Case Country Park. Here we go. And then I've got some Michigan black beans, and these I got from the Marquette Food Co-op. I um, did cook these ahead of time, but you could also just use canned black beans. You know me, I'm always trying to support local. I'm just gonna add that. I'm gonna save some of these for my dinner tonight. And then the last thing that you're really gonna add is just, um, they use either a pureed tomato or um, you can use a canned tomato that you puree yourself. I've got some, these are tomatoes from earlier this season that I've already done that with. So at this point, I'm just going to mix this up and let that um, simmer for about five minutes, and then it's going to be all set. So like I said, it's really simple. Um, at this point, I can sit back and relax, let that simmer and fully cook, and then I um, actually might freeze it for holiday gifts, or it'll be a great thing just to have in my freezer through the holidays. So thank you so much. Remember to support local. You can check out the Taste the Local Difference Holiday Gift Guide with um, michiganlocalgiftguide.com. And just a remember to take care this season. Thanks so much. Thank you, Alex. We'll have all of that information on our website, upmatters.com.